Hi everyone, and welcome back to the third and final tutorial uh, for the Green Goblin Pumpkin Bomb. So let's get straight into it. What we want to start with is just taking the, the Goblin Bomb and moving it slightly up, just so it's sat on the floor. And then we can press so Shift A and add a plane. We want to press S to scale this up. Uh, and a good size was about. 28 and 15 on each. So for the road that we'll be using textures from CG Bookcase, I'll put a link in the description below, but it's just a pack of road textures. Uh, it comes with a base color, height, normal and roughness. Um, so once you've downloaded them, if we make a new material on, on the, the plane that we've made, Road over in the shader. What we want to do is drop in the materials. So we've got the base color, the roughness, the normal, and the height. It's the height and a normal map. So what we want to do first after dropping these in is just hook the roughness up to the roughness and the colour needs to go into a mix mix RGB and we'll set this on multiply and we're just going to mix the colour and the roughness together before going into the base there we, go. we can use this slider here to adjust so about 0.8 so with the height and the normal map we want to add a bump node and the height will go into the height. Make sure this is set on non-color. It's also the same as the roughness. And then the normal map needs to go into a normal color, color. And this can plug into the normal here. And then plug that straight into the normal. So if we grab the, the bomb and move it slightly to the side, uh, yeah, I'll do that. And rotate it slightly. There we go. So next thing we're going to do is just quickly add a camera. So we press Shift A and add a camera. So you can press zero to look through that camera. If you press N to open up the, the the menu at the side, go into view and click camera to view. So when you start moving, it will also move the camera at the same time. And once we're happy with the, the composition, you can just unclick that. And now you can just start moving around. And to go back into camera view, just press uh, zero on the number pad. So the, the next thing we're going to do is just add the HDRI to the background. Um, I've also added a link to the free HDR from uh, HDR Haven. So while the shader editor is still open, if you click where it says object and onto world. So first we want to do is just delete the background. We don't need that. Press shift A and add a environment texture. Then we can open up our HDRI. plug that into the surface. Also if you control T onto that and add the node wrangler we do need to make sure we're in rendered view. Press zero. We can use the Z axis to rotate around. And we're done here with this so we can close that. So let's set up the environment a little bit because it's a little bit too bloomy. I'll turn the intensity down slightly. I 
We we'll just adjust these settings until you get something that you like. So before we do that, we'll quickly turn up the bloom on the emission shader. So if you go into the camera settings, turn the screen space reflections on. Uh, so move this slightly up. So if you click on the camera in the top and then into camera settings, we can set depth of field. So we can mess around with settings here, but what we a better way of doing this is to shift A and add an empty. And we can move this around. So we'll call this camera, uh, camera target. And click back on the camera and focus on the camera target. So now if we start lowering the F stop, you see it starts blurring out the background so if we make it 0.2 what you see now if we start moving this target we'll start bringing shapes out of focus so it gives us a bit more control over the final uh, look Maybe a little bit point three. Just want to get a bit more of the road into uh into view. Well into focus. collection right click we can duplicate that collection we'll just move these over we'll rotate it and that's it and once that's all set up you can just click up at the top to render and that's the the full process I used to create the pumpkin bomb Thanks again for watching. Bye.